Hey everyone, this is Zach Hample coming to you from inside Miller Park in Milwaukee on the terrace of this Friday's restaurant in deep left field right above the outfield wall. I've mentioned in some videos in the past, this is a really cool place to get a jump start on the action. You can get inside the stadium even before the gates open. Game time tonight is 7.10 p.m. The gates open at 5.40 p.m. Right now, it's like 4.15. Now, getting inside here is a process. It is confusing to say the least. I'll be back here tomorrow, might get into it then. As you can see behind me on the field, the Brewers are out there, they're warming up a little bit. They're gonna start batting practice soon. I'm gonna order food in a bit, hopefully snag a few baseballs, and then go in the regular gates at 5.40. So hopefully lots of action today. Let's get to it. the touch, what can I say? Josh, any chance up here, please? Robinson. Thank you. I'll give one away to a kid. All right, so Robinson Diaz, I think he's one of the bullpen catchers, and Josh Hader, their stud lefty reliever, just each tossed me a ball back to back. Hader was like, oh, that's two for the price of one, and I said, I'll give one to a kid. He gave me a thumbs up. So four baseballs already. I've been inside this place for like half an hour and there's balls down in the gap. I'm going to use the glove trick in just a few minutes here. There it is. Glove trick magic in Milwaukee. Ball number five on the day. This terrace in the Friday's restaurant has been a gold mine today. This whole stadium is amazing. There's so many nooks and crannies and gaps, balconies, terraces, railings where you can hang out and where baseballs can hide. So I got a few toss-ups there. I used my glove trick in the gap. Then I moved over toward left center to another terrace where you can sit at these tables. There were two baseballs that were within my reach, one on a little tarp over the bullpen. I wedged my arm through a railing and I was able to grab that in the tip of my glove. Then I used my glove trick again to reel in a ball that was sitting in the corner of the bullpen. So nine baseballs from the Brewers. The Padres are hitting now. I've transitioned up here to the second deck in left field. If you want to swing around, you can see what it looks like. There are some guys who can really hit. Hunter Renfro is probably the best. And guys can hit balls completely over the bleachers here. Balls can land here, bounce completely out of the stadium. So I think there's still going to be some more action up here. Hunter Renfro with a blast that bounced completely out of the stadium. How about that? And a fan just walking up to the gate saw the ball trickling toward him and picked it up. That is pretty special. Now the rest of Padres' BP was not all that special, but there was a little flurry of activity right at the start. And in fact, things were so frantic that my videographer missed a ball or two over the course of the day. There was a Joey Lucchese toss-up up in the second deck that he didn't get a shot of. And then down below on the terrace in Fridays, there was an employee in the gap that flipped me one as well. So I got 12 baseballs total. I don't think I caught a single home run on the fly. It just works out like that sometimes. Sometimes I'll catch like three or four balls on the fly and get nothing else. Today I was piling up the numbers but didn't make any circus catches. Still a great time. We got like half an hour before game time. Gonna wander a bit, check out this place, maybe some pre-game throwing, and then I'm gonna be in my favorite spot during the game.
set up here in Milwaukee for the visiting team, you can get right on top of them, get a great perspective of both the pitcher and the catcher. Now, tonight's starting catcher for the Padres is Austin Hedges, young guy, excellent defensively. Nice to see him out there stretching, working on some drills, blocking balls, and then working with Clayton Richard, the starting pitcher tonight. Richard's first pitch, I thought he was going to take it easy in the bullpen. He unleashed a 90 mile an hour rocket, smacked the glove. It really echoes down here. Great place to get toss ups. And I got my 13th ball of the day from Griffin Benedict, the team's bullpen catcher. So just a few minutes right now until game time. This game is underway here at Miller Park, and it's Game of Thrones night, and the Brewers lineup is stacked. They had a great first half of the season. They recently acquired Mike Moustakis, and they might be hard to beat going down the stretch. Now, as for me, I am in my favorite foul ball spot, not just in this stadium, but in all of Major League Baseball. There is this wide walkway behind the 10 rows of seats up in the second deck behind home plate. Now I'm on the third base side of the plate and unfortunately there are not a whole lot of left-handed batters tonight. And it is the lefties that are likely to hit balls here. I tried to buy a seat on the first base side. There weren't any available. So I'm hopeful. The pitcher for the Brewers, Chase Anderson, has a great ground ball to fly ball ratio. So guys are definitely likely to swing underneath the ball. We have Corey Spangenberg up now. I feel like he could hit a ball to me any second while I'm talking to you. Also, it is the fourth inning, and the Brewers are on top five to two. Clayton Richard got rocked in the first inning, gave up four runs. So that is it here from Miller Park. This game is over. After two innings, the Brewers are winning four to nothing. And then the Padres scored in every inning after that to win this game by the score of 11 to five. Very impressive performance by the Padres. Foul balls, nothing on this side. There were two that were hit on the first base side of home plate. So if I'd been there, I think I might've had two foul balls tonight. So I got 13 total, all before the game. Feeling really good about that. That brings my lifetime total to 10,530. And let me just talk numbers here for a moment, all right? I began the day with 93 lifetime balls at this stadium. So I now have triple digits at Miller Park. This is the 21st different Major League Stadium that I've hit triple digits at. I'm trying to hit triple digits at all of them. And this is the 24th different Major League Stadium that I've been to this year. I'll be back tomorrow for one more. So look forward to that video. And as always, guys, thanks for watching this one. I'm out.